So this reading is for someone very specific, okay? Your person is telling everybody that they know, um, everybody that they trust, okay, about you and your amazing connection. And it's for a very important reason, okay? This is a divine love. This is a holy love, a sacred love. And if it resonates, um, this person is telling everyone who is supposed to know, okay? Because th there is a sense that there's a group of people or a community or a collective that's supposed to know about this connection because you are a great inspiration. You are the, the way showers. You are um, this divine love to inspire others to be more in their hearts, to know that there's so much more than this false matrix. You are helping um, steer the collective in a positive direction with the chariot, okay? And your person, they're just glowing. They're so happy. This is the Holy Grail, Ace of Cups. They, they cannot contain this love, this passion, this excitement because your love with each other, your union is so, so powerful, okay? Because we're starting off with the devil energy. This is the false matrix, the fears, suffering. This is what you both were experiencing. This is what a lot of people are experiencing, okay? Certain people need to know about your connection because it provides a lot of hope in a time in this world where there's a lot of hopelessness or a lot of fears, intense anxieties, a lot of chaos, a lot of this darkness and shadow. Everyone's fearful. Everyone's depressed. This is how you both felt um, before you met each other as well. Intense darkness. You could have had your own individual circumstances where you were chained to intense fears, um, whatever it may be. And this is a complete change, okay? Because um, into the light, into love, like the universe brought you together with this angel here. This was a destined love for you to come out, for, for you both to move out of the darkness, the false matrix, into the truth, into the high dimensions, into ascension. Because in the traditional tarot, the devil looks like the lover's card, except this is all about darkness and the lovers are chained to that devil. But now there's freedom, there's true love. This is you moving to this heaven, heaven on earth, creating heaven on earth. This is the hope that you inspire and you help others to really know that there is a God, there is, everything's happening for a reason, that there is love at the core of everything and that we can make a difference. And your person, they're just speaking so positively about you, like you are literally experiencing heaven on earth, the higher dimensions whilst in human form. And it's absolutely mind-blowing and they, they cannot contain this. So they're speaking a lot about you and how you're both on this path to ascension, into a deeper ascension. This is the yin and the yang. You are one. You are divine lovers. You are twin flames. They're, they're sharing this message. And this is for someone very specific, okay, because um, this message is meant to be expressed. You know, th this was part of the soul contract that you have together. So, how else are they truly feeling? What are they saying as well? Pleasure seekers. I'm telling you, there's some sort of community or group of people that love hearing about this connection. They can feel the energies of it. It's taking them out of shadow. It's taking them out of darkness. This person's pouring out their heart and soul. And people are witnessing this as true. Like they're feeling the energies. They're seeing the transformation that you are both going through. And it's helping them understand what is possible and that we are all co-creators. You know, we are manifestors with whatever we think, believe, um, whatever vibration we choose to be in creates our reality. So pleasure seekers, they're... They're, they're choosing to be in this love vibration and be carried along um, with this wave into higher levels of consciousness. Waiting. They, they are, it just said 444. They are talking about how they were always waiting for you or searching for you deep down before you met each other. For some of you, there could be an age gap. So the older person, you are waiting for this person 
to arrive into your life as well. They're, they're talking about how there's no weight anymore because there's immense movement. Like They're talking about how mind-blowing and how quickly, you know, all of this changes, transformation, healing, awakening is happening since you've met, since you've united. Everything's sped up exponentially. There may have been a lot of stagnation. I mean, this is what the devil energy is about, the chains being stuck, stagnant in darkness. So they were, you both could have been in a very dark place before you met, but this has rapidly changed literally overnight for some of you. Like, this is really you both... Because you're divine lovers, you've activated each other's hearts. This is both of your hearts overflowing the portal to the heavens, to your higher selves, the, the soul family. This is amazing. Service. They are talking about service, how you are these light workers, how, you know, this connection is activating others anyone that is believing in your connection feeling the energies feeling inspired it's making them realize more about who they really are and that they are these um light workers that have come here to serve humanity help uplift the, the collective be this positive influence and way shower serving love we have the ace of cups and service serving love consolation they are saying that you are this angel this is how you feel about each other okay you are this angel that has come in in their darkest moment to help set them free and take them you've taken each other into light you've actually activated each other's hearts the universe brought you together for this to happen seriously we had waiting on the balcony look this is the divine feminine the divine masculine you are both waiting for each other waiting for this moment subconsciously you are searching for that alignment searching for each other and they see you as this angel that's come in to really help them become free and moving them into so much awakening and awareness and uh, euphoria look yeah look at the bottom of the deck transformation with the butterfly and doctor so much healing so much healing has taken place yeah look malady and falseness this is like the false matrix how we're all you know pressured conditioned subconsciously to wear masks because we don't feel safe being our true selves in this harsh matrix so yeah this this connection is so healing they're talking about how you've really healed them how you've saved their life and vice versa they've helped save your life and um, this is having a really positive healing effect on a lot of people coming out of the false matrix, transforming, spreading their wings, like being their true selves. Positive ripple effect. So what else are they saying about you? I feel our souls making love. So that, you know, I don't feel like they're telling everyone this. I feel like there is someone who they really trust in, like a friend or a family member. You know, this person is very honourable, okay? They're, they're not just telling anyone. They're, they're telling people who they trust. Because I do feel like they're surrounded by a lot of mature people who are uh, this soul tribe, who are light workers as well. So, but I feel like some someone more specific, like in a more private setting, that they're saying about your souls, like making love, like your souls merging. Um, they're talking about if they know about twin flames. If they don't know about twin flames, they're saying your soulmates, like your one soul. You're like in two separate bodies, but you're one soul. They're talking about these desires to make love with you as well. I'm planting the seeds in our union. Yeah, this person is planting positive seeds. This is them sharing this truth. Share it. Like people can see that they're absolutely glowing. People can see and feel the energy emanating out of their heart. And this is them planting these seeds that are then um, start growing in, in the collective wherever they go. And you're all having like a knock on effect, like you, this whole soul tribe, okay? Planting positive seeds. 
what you're thinking right now. This person also um, goes to the, I feel like, like it's the same person uh, when they're worried or anxious about what you're thinking about them, how you're feeling about them. This person looks for advice or they're expressing their heart, they're expressing their feelings to this other person about you to this other person to to try and gain some sort of clarity when they're feeling a bit anxious and i think about you constantly like people know this because they are talking about you a lot okay but yeah that you're always on their mind they're always thinking about you all the time so i'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading we're going to dive even deeper into what they're saying about you we're going to look into lots of messages cards and other cards as well to dive deeply into that we're also going to look into those message cards to see what does your person really want to say to you what do they really need you to know right now about their true feelings and lots of very detailed messages from spirit are also going to come through so the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comments so i really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and i hope to see you over on the extended